there have been a lot of South Park games in the past, but I think one of the most important things about South Park is the comedy, the narrative, and all the characters that you get to know watching the show. I think this is gonna be the first game that really lives up to that. We're bringing the entire town of South Park to life. We're expanding on a whole number of, of areas all around the world that people have seen in shows. You're gonna be able to go there, interact with the characters. You're gonna be able to have uh, all kinds of crazy storylines that are, that are being brought, you know, written by Matt and Trey. And I think it's going to represent the actual South Park that people know and love by and far better than, than any other game in the past has done. So the interesting thing about South Park is that when we started to form the team for the game, it was not necessarily something everybody at the company wanted to work on. I would say 95% of the people did, but it doesn't necessarily fit with all the artist art styles because they were coming from a traditional 3D background. And then there are certain people that just feel that the, that the show has objectionable content. And so we had to uh, basically go out and say, who wants to work on this game? Who would be comfortable working on this game? Who really, really is excited about working on this game? And there's a ton of people that were like that. But then when it came around to actually fully staffing the team later on, one of the interesting things is, is that we uh, had to go out and hire a lot of the artists. And the artists that we, uh, a lot of the artists that we've hired to work on this game um, are, are fairly young. They're, out of, they're just out of school, but they have exceptional 2D skills and 2D animation skills. And we had to go out and find those people and staff up the team with those people so that they could hit the art style. Working through all the development challenges on this game has been pretty rough. Uh, Matt and Trey are very, very busy guys. A lot of the stuff that they're going to write will come online a little bit later than we would typically do things uh, in game development. But what we've done is we've basically developed a system with them where we start uh, with very, very early rough concepts based on their story ideas. And we sort of flesh those out in a way that might make sense for a game. And then we give them back to them again. And then they go through it again, and we, and we go through a very long iterative process that allows us to start doing all of the artwork for the backgrounds. It allows us to do all of the character artwork. It allows us to figure out all of the different combat combinations and encounters and spells and things like that that we want to have in the game. And then ultimately, as their writing comes online later in the development process, we're able to sort of craft everything together and build that into the complete game experience that we're looking for. The team for this game is, is not exceptionally large. It's going to max out at about 50 to 55 people over the course of development. Uh, internally with us, there will be obviously lots of other people working with the other groups associated with it. Most of those people are designers and artists uh, who are actually bringing all of the artwork and the design uh, to life within the game world. And, uh, and we've actually been working in pre-production for a long time to get the art style down, to make sure that not only does the art style live up to the show, but it's something that works out well for the game experience. And we've actually needed to go through a number of iterations on gameplay style and even how to set up the world so that not only does it look like the show, but it also plays well. And we have the team essentially filled out right now. Uh, all of our leads are in place. Most of our artists and designers are in place. We are going to staff up a little bit more for some of the world creation, especially later on after we start getting uh, all of the major writing for the game in. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're fully staffed right now and, and cruising along pretty well. It's been really exceptional working with Matt and Trey because they are gamers. So we can actually have a concept for, um, say, a feature. And we say, well, you know, we kind of want to have collectibles, but we want them based off tools. Uh, you know, we're thinking of it like, you know, a Zelda experience or something like that. And that immediately clicks as something that they get. They understand that because they have played all those games. Or they might say like, oh, well, you know, all right, you know, I, I understand where you're going with the Zelda thing, but what do you think about this example from this other game? And they, are, they know all the big games. They, they have played every game that we, um, that we talk about, um, or they're, they're playing the current game, whatever the, the game du jour is, like they're on it. And so it's really, really easy to have conversations with them about what's going to work, how it's going to work, and why. And I think those are, that just makes it a lot easier to communicate with them. I don't know that there have been any games that have really nailed comedy all the way through. Uh, I really appreciate all of Tim Schafer's games. I think that over and over again throughout those games, not only do you have a good gameplay experience, but he, he will always bring the funny at, at sort of regular intervals for, throughout the game. I think that those have been amazing experiences for me. Uh, other, than, other than those games, I, I don't know that any have really tried to do comedy or have done comedy on the scale that we're uh, going to be doing it in the South Park game. I think that comedy in games is incredibly difficult. And I think it's difficult for a number of reasons. We can't 
be topical, number one. So it's not like The Daily Show where they can just go to the news and write a bunch of jokes about it. And that stuff is incredibly funny, but it's very topical. And even South Park, the show is like that. But when we're talking about South Park, the game, or we're talking about any game in general, uh, it takes us a, a heck of a long time and lead time to actually develop that. So we kind of have to stay away from topical stuff, um, which means we're more in sort of the, the movie realm of comedy. And I think even then, uh, I think it's hard to do a really good comedy movie and uh, we're not trying to write an hour and a half's worth of jokes. We're making a game that's going to be uh, a role-playing game. You know, it's going to be hours and hours and hours long, and it needs to be funny all the way through. And, uh, and even the jokes that, that we've seen and done so far in development, they're already tired and old to us, so we have to bring in other people to actually see if they're still funny uh, so that we can move on. So I think it, it, is, it is a big challenge. I think it's one that we're tackling really well and that the South Park Digital Studios has worked with us so far really well on it. But, uh, but yeah, it's a big challenge.